you're your own personal fitness trainer. So this is Office Warrior number three. And these are exercises, again, that you can do in the office. So there are no excuses. All you need is a chair. And you can do these at home as well. Same thing. It's going to get you moving a bit. And so after this, I have one more. And it's a Office Warrior stretching video. So I'll see you in a bit. So as always, I want to say thank you so much to all my loyal subscribers out there. You know, I appreciate you. And uh, if you're new, join us here. Love to have you. It's free on YouTube by clicking that subscribe button right there. And uh, like it. I love those likes and comments. So anyway, Office Warrior. Alright, so of course you want to have a sturdy chair. And this is an isometric exercise. It's going to work your chest. And what you're going to do is sit on the chair nice and straight. And you're going to put your palms together in front of your chest like this. And then what you're going to do, elbows are out. You're going to press, press your hands in. That works your chest isometrically. So I'm just going to do it for five seconds. But you're going to press for ten. So you're sitting up nice and straight. Right there in front of your chest, and here you go. Press it in and squeeze. Five. Working in the chest muscles. So what I want you to do is press in isometrically for the count of 10. And then I want you to do it two more times. So if you can, you want to do three, three different times, okay, for each one. All right, now the next one is for the back of your arms. You want to strengthen those. So you might have to come off your seat here a little bit, and your hands are going to be forward like this, back behind you. Go on the seat, nice and straight. But now, if my arm's a little bent, I'm going to press up on it and tighten it. And it's going to be 10 seconds for you. I'll show you for five, OK? There you are. Now press up. I'm pressing up there on my arms. That's going to isometrically tighten and strengthen that muscle. So I'd like you to do it three different times for a hold of 10. All right, now the last one on this series here is going to be an isometric that's going to get your arms, your biceps, and your forearm. But for this one, you need to have it at your desk. Now I don't have a desk here. So I'm going to improvise, and uh, I'm going to grab my bench. All right, so I'm going to pull this out. Now, so being it's a desk, you would be sitting on your chair, and obviously your desk is level. It needs to be level. Because you're going to put your hands up under the desk and press. Same thing, 10 seconds, isometrically. It's going to work here that part. Uh, but being I don't have it, so you know I'm going to come down here on my knees and I'm just going to press up under, pretending I'm um, sitting on the chair. So your hands are like this, palms, and here you go. You're pressing it up. Press. I'll count five. One, two, four, five. All right. You're doing a 10 second count and again, three times. I want you to do three sets. All right? All right, now give me a moment and uh, the last exercise is presses and punches. It's gonna get the blood flowing and get your shoulders working and your arms working. All right, so of course you wanna have a sturdy chair. And this is an isometric exercise. It's going to work your chest. And what you're going to do is sit on the chair nice and straight. And you're going to put your palms together in front of your chest like this. And then what you're going to do, elbows are out. You're going to press, press your hands in. That works your chest isometrically. So I'm just going to do it for five seconds. But you're going to press for ten. So you're sitting up nice and straight. Right there in front of your chest, and here you go. Press it in and squeeze. That's 
working in the chest muscles. So what I want you to do is press in isometrically for the count of 10. And then I want you to do it two more times. So if you can, you want to do three, three different times, okay, for each one. All right, now the next one is for the back of your arms. You want to strengthen those. So you might have to come off your seat here a little bit, and your hands are going to be forward like this, back behind you. You want to see? Nice and straight. But now, my arm's a little bent, I'm going to press up on it and tighten it, and it's going to be 10 seconds for you. I'll show you for five, okay? So here you are. Now press up. So I'm pressing up there on my arms. That's going to isometrically tighten and strengthen that muscle. So I'd like you to do it three different times for a hold of 10. All right, now the last one on this series here is going to be an isometric that's going to get your arms, your biceps, and your forearm. But for this one, you need to have it at your desk. Now, I don't have a desk here, so I'm going to improvise. And uh, I'm going to grab my bench. All right, so I'm going to pull this out. Now, so being it's a desk, you would be sitting on your chair, and obviously your desk is level. Be level because you're going to put your hands up under the desk and press. Same thing, 10 seconds isometrically. It's going to work here, that part. Uh, but being I don't have it, so you know, I'm going to come down here on my knees and I'm just going to press up under, pretending I'm uh, sitting on the chair. So your hands are like this, palms, and here you go. You're pressing it up. Press. Okay, I'm five. One. You're doing a 10 second count, and again, three times. I want you to do three sets, all right? All right, now give me a moment, and uh, the last exercise is presses and punches. It's gonna get the blood flowing, and get your shoulders working and your arms working. Okay, arm punch and punches. It's gonna get the blood flowing, going to get you exercise and it's going to work your arms. Two pound weights here. So the first one, you're going to be doing 30 seconds the one and 30 the other. I'm just going to demo a little bit. So but the first one, you're holding it like this. See the position? And right here, up overhead, you're pressing it up. Okay, and again, you're going for 30 seconds to do that. Then, right after that, now you're down by your side here, and you're gonna punch it out and turn it like you're punching. You just do it nice and controlled. You know, you don't be, don't fling your arms around. Nice and controlled, pull it back in. You're gonna do that same thing, approximately 30 seconds. So that would be 60 all together, and then that would be one set. You're going for three sets. Then you're going to go it again. Go the rounds again. So again, one more time. You just see how you're holding them, and you're just alternating simultaneously. Okay? And then the other one, holding it here. Pressing it out. And there you would. With all those, you're getting the blood flowing. You're getting your muscles stimulated, and you're strengthening them a bit. And why? Because you want to do things in life. These joints in your body were meant to move. And if you don't move them, you're not going to be moving. And you want to be able to do things in life as you age. That's the whole key. It's not all about how you look all the time. It's about health and fitness. Being able to be productive in the life that you have. I can do tons of things for my age, and it's amazing. Why? Because I do this strength training, or else I wouldn't be doing things. So anyway, I want that for you too. So get moving. Start with these things. You can do it. So anyway, I have some quotes for you. So 
oh, I have a little drink book with me. And the first one is, it's a good one. It's poetic sounding. The oak sleeps in the acorn. The bird waits in the egg. And in the highest vision of the soul, a waking angel stirs. Dreams are the seedlings of realities. I like that. And this one uh, is by Napoleon Hill. And he says, a goal is a dream with a deadline. That one makes sense to me. You have to have a goal and then you have to have a deadline. So anyway, till next time, I'll see you. Ta-ta.